the Queens Midtown Tunnel reopens after a contractor accidentally drilled a hole into the tunnel, causing a leak. How it all happened and whether it's still impacting traffic tonight. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. The traffic mess started this afternoon just before the evening rush. Chopper 2 was over the scene at the tunnel as long lines formed on both sides of the East River. Now tonight, questions remain over how this mistake could have happened. Allie Bauman is live for us in Murray Hill with the latest. Allie. Overseeing the MTA says they've temporarily plugged the leak and now the north and south tubes are back open in both directions. But city and state officials are investigating how a subcontractor managed to drill a hole in the tunnel's cast iron walls. Now it is a new fear unlocked. Drivers going through the Queens Midtown Tunnel this afternoon saw water pouring in from the ceiling and walls. The MTA subsequently shut the tunnel down in both directions and say there are no reported injuries or damaged vehicles. The city the Economic Development Corporation says that a subcontractor they hired was doing preliminary work on the UN Esplanade project and accidentally drilled a hole two and a half inches wide in the tunnel's outer casings and through its cast iron lining, causing water from the East River to leak in through the tunnel's exhaust ducts. I asked the MTA how that mistake was even able to happen. As I understand it, they drilled 100 feet from the surface of the water. Uh, about 50 feet through water and then another 53, 50 feet through soil, then to the tunnel. How is traffic today? Horrendous. It's the worst. I haven't seen, I haven't seen it uh, worse than this all summer, uh, probably the last couple of years. Again, the tunnel is back open in both directions. The MTA says they are trying to permanently plug that leak, but want to assure New Yorkers that it is still safe to drive through in the meantime. We're live in Murray Hill, Ali Bauman, CBS News, New York. All right, Ali, thank you for that update. And you can monitor the status of repairs to the tunnel and also learn more about how this happened on our website, cbsnewyork.com.